Hey everyone, it's me, Amu Jane, and it's been a few days since I last made a video. Um, yeah. This is my brand new rant of the day, and obviously this is also, obviously it's going to be the EXO fan exotics. Again. Yet again. <sighs> Everyone has been hearing about, you know, we all has heard about the, what ESO has been doing, the things that's been going on with EXO, with the Chris situation, um, and the EXO situation as well, unflowing Chris on Instagram and all the um, social media network thing. Okay, so it was confirmed that Chris is fine. Yeah, uh, Chris is fine. Sorry guys, there's always stuff that I'm always eating. <laughs> um, back to the to the subject. To the subject where I sometimes I become really confused. Don't know what to expect. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, like confused. You just don't know what's been going on. I mean, like I don't mind rumours I just I just usually I'm more like the near don't really care much as usual but there are some that take it so seriously they take it such a big issue and they're they have been a bit of suicide because women were the EXO fans were pretty upset because their bias apparently was leaving EXO which apparently that wasn't true. I mean, the thing is, I sometimes don't understand why this is happening. Why is it such a big thing? Why? I just don't understand. Um, there's a picture that I have a very good friend, Mr. Popo, on Facebook. I have him as a friend, and there's a couple of friends I have on Facebook they uploaded this picture and this picture I was like what the hell why is it such why is it coming to this why does it have to come to this I mean like I'm a Christian I went if I saw a group that is disbanded do I get upset over it no I mean like life goes on I mean like I'm sorry if a ban if I mean like look at take that look at the Spice Girls I mean like it's not nothing new I mean like groups come and go I mean like let it go guys it's like I mean like it won't last forever but the EXO fans crying and posting this Horrific pictures. I mean, like, I haven't even finished off what the picture looked like. It's this girl. She had blood as her fingers, like, in the fingertips. And if you see on the floor, it was the, the satanic star sign. And on the middle, it had candles on it, and the middle was saying, it says, Please save Exo Satan. Not God, not Jesus, Satan. Why would you ask the devil to save Exo? As if the devil would care less. He would care less about EXO than taking them, these guys, to hell. I mean, like, people just really don't think. It's just annoying. And the situation, I would love to give a message to the EXO fans. I really do. EXO, chill out. It's just a rumour. I don't think it's going to be true that, that Chris is going to leave. If, if Chris is your bias, and you really care about him, don't do some idiotic things like suicide and crying over it just for nothing, and especially putting satanic signs and asking the devil to save him. It's just stupid. It just does not make sense. I mean, like, some people are absolutely out of their minds. I mean, like, calm down. And as for Esther, bum it. Oh well. I don't know much, I can't judge SM because I don't know much about them. All I know is that just here and there had problems with the groups. It's 
stuff like TVXQ and Super Junior and overshadowing um, FX. Yeah. I mean, and, that, and now it's Excel, so I don't really know much what's going on because I don't live in Korea and I don't know much, so yeah. Even if I messed up the world, I would be like, whatever. I mean, if I'll be honest, the, the group that was in TVXQ, um, the three guys that is in JYJ, they're doing good. They're doing good. I mean, like, what the hell? I mean, like, they, they've been in more dramas than some of the of TVXQ. Uh, Chang Nam and Yung Ho, and the rest of that is in, um, in SM. I mean, like, they're doing more work. I mean, like, one of them that was there, he was such a good looking guy. <laughs> he's one of the J. He's I think he's older, he doesn't look like it. He he's doing a lot of dramas, he's doing a lot of films, he's doing his own solo, which is amazing. Oh this guy has improved. This guy no not he's improved. He come a long way. And I give him credits for that. I'm not gonna lie, I love T V X Q. I mean like T V X Q was the reason I got into K pop. Look through through TVXQ, but it felt weird. I mean, like if TVXQ kind of left SM and went in the same comedy where JYJ was is in right now, I think they could go even more far than it is than they are now. Because they only did two comebacks, and Channing only did one drama, and that was it. That was it. Nothing new. Whereas with JYJ has done a lot of things new, they're doing stuff, they're doing bits and pieces, whereas they're just doing three things and that's, that was really it. I'm not going to lie, they have improved this year, the TVs cube, but... Okay, so, what else? I think FX should not be in SM either, because they've been overshadowed, they're not... They don't even have a fan name. Or they don't even have a fan club. That's that's how bad it is. I mean, like, all the groups that is in SM right now, FX is the only group with no fan name. Wow, SM. You clearly know what you're doing. Messing up people's lives. But, okay, so, to clarify this, SM is not the only company that messes up with around people's careers. I mean, like, it's not just K-pop. It's music in general. I mean, like, you have to sometimes you have to be smart enough which which company or which uh, producer you're going to work with sometimes, or which label you want to get into. I mean, like, there's so many there's so many labels that are, has been messing up people's lives, like. It's not the first time I heard of this. This has been there since probably the 60s or the 70s. I mean, a Motown was one of them. Um, the guy who... I kind of forgot his name, but... He was the guy who made the Runaways history to make them noticed and become history in the rock music of for girls, which was the first girl, girl rock band to, to exist. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess this is not the first time. It really isn't. I mean, like, look into, if I look, I looked, I really looked into the history of music, and when it comes to producing, it's not the same. I mean, it's not the same, it's, it repeats itself. I mean, I remember when I read about when when Michael Jackson and the Jackson Five had to de had to decided to leave Motown. Motown, what they did was oh, they only treated um, the Jackson Five as objects. They didn't see it as a kids that was just performing. But because uh, the s one of their sons remarried. Uh, Motown's daughter, um, and they decided to leave. 
the only thing they s Motown said to him, okay, you can do whatever you want, but change the name of the of the group because, um, as you know, I created a name which was never true. It was actually the Jacksons themselves that actually came came up with that name. So they went from the Jackson Five to the Jacksons. So therefore, what this is saying, this is not the first time. This is not just SM. It's music in general that is like this. It's really, really, really dark and twisted. It's sickening, yes. Do I feel sorry for most artists in general that is that is um, becoming big? Yeah, I do. I, I honestly, if I be honest, I really do. I honestly just. Oh well. So what I said is the same thing. It's sickening, yeah. Why not? But does it mean that same SM is the worst? No, because it's not the first time. It really isn't. I mean, like, if you look into the history of music, then you understand. Anyway, guys, that is all. Uh oh, I can say EXO. Don't, uh, fighting. Um, Salang He. You all, I really do. Um, Exotics. Don't stress. They're stressed because they're not dead. I mean, like they're still alive. I mean, like, chill. Take a chill pill. Drink some tea, like I usually do. I always take a tea. English tea. So what I can say is, like, you don't need to stress over over things if you want to express yourself. Fair enough. And also, guys, if people, if you see people just expressing how they feel they feel really sorry that they can't they can't believe that the situation is coming I yeah I respect that too because in the days people's coming you don't need to bash them and say oh they, why no, no, no. it's no need it's no need it's no need for to make someone to be belittled so yeah it's, it's just being real here it's just being honest so yeah SM whatever what else I can say for SM? It's just seeing Motown. That's how I see SM. SM is the Korean version of Motown, how twisted that could be. Or if not, it, it kind of feels like when the Runaways had this guy who was a producer. Yeah, he kind of remind SM kind of reminded me of him. Like, they didn't treat anyone like human being. They treated, treated this per um one of the girls like uh, like an object like this like uh yeah forcing them things that they don't want to do so yeah that's, that that is all guys um i hope you can subscribe my channel um like the video share it share this video um Yeah, today I was like, whatever. I feel like whatever today, if I'm being honest. Plus, because I woke up a bit late. Or I could say that. Or I could say to the shortage, just chill out, take a chill pill, go to sleep, eat food. I'm really like, it's not the end of the world. It's not as if X, X is going to say, oh, let's all disband. I don't think they can disband, because if they disband, that, that will be the end of XO. But if they all decide to leave SM they might go to different companies that will treat them well I mean like they were I mean like look at Block B I mean like, I'm surprised people saying oh SM this SM that I mean like why do you think now why do you think now Block B has been treated well I mean like it's dependent on the company you enter as well so Therefore, guys, don't always bash on only on SM. I mean, uh, there are some in Korea that are similar to SM that kind of not doing their things properly. So yeah. Anyways, guys, um, yeah, follow me on Twitter if you want to ask me questions. Please do like the video. I will be more than grateful if you do it. So everyone, everyone, Annyeong. I'm selling here.